everybody. This is a shortened version of the full video just to get right to the point. If you want to see the full version, I have a clickable link for you at the end of this video. I just bought two brand new compression testers. Look at the main difference between these two. Right where you screw it into the spark plug hole, one has a Schrader valve in the end and the other one doesn't. There are two types of compression testers. One is very accurate on your small engines and the other one is drastically inaccurate. We got the old Husqvarna 65 chainsaw. I have the spark plug in it right now because I want to show you something, how much compression it actually has. That is a ton of compression. I don't even need to compression test that because I already know that it has enough for it to run and run well. This is the uh, one with no Schrader valve in it, automotive. All right, we got her zeroed off. I'm gonna see when, it's, when the needle stops going up. There's one, two, three. The, the needle's not even coming up anymore. It's at 25, 35, 45, 30, 40, 45. I'm gonna pull it a couple more times just to prove it to you. It's not gonna go past. I can pull it all I want now, and it's not come, coming past 45. I'll try to zoom into that for you. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Schrader valve mighty vac. One, two, three, four, still coming up. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's not coming up anymore at all. But, holy crap, what a difference that is. 150, 160, 170 almost 180 psi now that's a huge difference that's what i would expect this to be 180 to 45 well there you go that proves my point don't buy the wrong one okay check out those links i got for you in the description and i hope i help somebody out as usual misdiagnosing their equipment with their compression tester cheers Steve out. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, click on that little button right there. If you'd like to see the full version of this video, it's a lot more detailed, a lot more in-depth, click right there.